Hey fighters, Jack RK here and today let's have a look on these two fighting games that cost the same and are very similar. So we have DNF Duel and Grand Blue Fantasy Versus. Both are made by Arxis and based on RPGs. DNF Duel is based on Dungeon and Fighter and Grand Blue Fantasy Versus of course is based on Grand Blue Fantasy and I personally have not played any of those two. And with the Rooster we have 16 fighters for DNF and 12 for the standard version of Grand Blue and 25 for the legendary version, the one we are reviewing here. And I have to say that every character on these two games are awesome, they have great designs. DNF Duel looks a bit more modern with gunners and swordmen, while Grand Blue is just by the sword or magic and in some stance bows. As for game modes, we have nothing new here. We have the story mode, the arcade with no story, versus training that is good on both games, and the online that we will talk later. Now, the part you all wanna know, the graphics, and of course, DNF Duel being a new game looks amazing, and with the graphics done by Arxis. My friend, you have a show here, the animations are great, the designs are good, the scenarios and all the shiny stuff here. If you have played Dragon Ball or Guild Gear, you know what I'm talking about. And Grand Blue looks almost like that. And I know that it came first, but whatever. And both games, both on PS4 or PS5, looks amazing. No frame drops, nice resolution, and no. But between the two, I think Grand Blue looks a little bit better, especially the scenarios. For the gameplay, we have simple inputs here, everything on this game you can do with one button, we have two normals, one skill and one MP skill button and of course you have one super move button and I think they went just too far to make this gameplay easy, it, you'll be spamming skills all the rounds and who thought something like that was okay? You have a full screen button, <laughs> dude. To be fair, Grand Blue vs. Gameplay is also absolutely brain dead. You have one skill buttons, but the difference here is if you use one button, you have some recovery, so you can't spend the movie. If you do the motion inputs, we have a faster recovery, so it's a little bit less brain dead, but not by much. And of course, to do the super, you can't use just one button. So in this regard, it's a little bit better, not much. And now the online. Until now, Grand Blue was slamming hard DNF duel. However, this is where DNF Duel shines, because it has a great rollback netcode, like Guilty Gear Strive, and I played some matches, I don't know, maybe 15, and every match looked great, everything with 200 milliseconds down you can play easily, and of course because you match the buttons all the round. So, no worries to drop inputs here. 
If you get something more than 200 milliseconds, sometimes you get some stutter, but it's playable. So, if you play online, you will like this game a lot. You have the ranked, you can do your room, but I play it on the ranked for now. And my friend, you won't regret it. Unfortunately for Grand Blue, this is where the game fails, because it has the old delay netcode, and to make things worse, there's not many people playing, so you have to play with people from the other side of the globe. I have to test from Brazil to Japan, so we have a lot of stutter and no, and the match was not playable at all. So, if you like online, stay away from this game for now. And I almost forgot that those two games have a star mode. The NF Duo has individual star modes for each character. You have like 8 stages, talk and dialogue, but the plot is crap and it's just boring. Grand Blue Forces has a global store mode and the plot is also boring <laughs> but the thing here is that you can play with a friend because there's a co-op option and it's all for the store mode to end this video I have to say that both games are great but for the online you pick the NF Duel for the offline you get Grand Blue Fantasy Versus. And if you have enough money, just get both. You can't be wrong here. So, thanks guys. If you like this kind of content, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you have played those games, tell me what you think. So, see you next time.